Hello, it's Jordan Middle School. Mr. Jones here with your mindful moment. For the past year here at school, we've been talking to you about mindfulness, different ways to kind of meditate, focus, a lot of benefits to it. One of those benefits is your increased awareness. You notice what's going on around you, notice the things that you enjoy, you notice more the things that you don't enjoy that bother you and how they bother you physically, in your mind. On that note, I want to talk about worry. It's normal to worry about things. You know, what's school going to look like next year? Are we still going to have to do online? Uh, how are my sports, my football team, dance company, how is this going to be affected? There's so many things to worry about, right? And it's kind of normal. But sometimes we get stuck and we ruminate over and over and we're leaving the current moment, right? Maybe we worry so much we can't sleep at night. Maybe we're worrying so much 45 minutes of math class has come and gone and we didn't learn anything because we just stuck in our mind. On that note, I, there's this quote. This comes to you from the Daily Call, right? One of our resources. It says, a worrying does not empty tomorrow of its troubles. It empties today of its strength. So consider that. You can worry all day long. It's not going to fix tomorrow, right? It just kind of takes you out of today and what's going on and you kind of miss out. So what do we do? Students, we've talked about how naming things can kind of help us disengage the stress. So that would be step one. Start worrying about school. You identify it, name it. Oh, yeah, I'm worrying about school again. And just remind yourself, hey, can't do anything about it. It'll, we'll find out in a few months. But if that's not working, it's still stuck in there, maybe step two would be make a plan. Okay? So spend a few minutes. Write a few things down. Hey, I'm going to email the school and ask about what's going to happen. Hey, I'm going to ask my friends. I'm going to check the website. You know, you don't have to overdo it, but put a few steps together, a plan. And when that worry pops in your mind again, again, you identify it. Hey, I'm worried about school again. And then remind yourself, hey, I've made a plan for that. I'm good. And both those should help you uh, disengage and then re-engage in the current moment and get back to what's going on around you. Student mindfulness, make it a habit. Spend a couple minutes every day, it becomes a habit. Easier and easier, you get stronger and stronger. Appreciate you listening. Be back tomorrow.